Hey, what's going on, phone dogs? Bo HD here. Hope you guys are doing well. Now, if you're new to the channel, we have a little monthly series where we highlight 10 new or updated Android apps released to the Play Store each month. I've been making these videos for going on almost five years now, which is actually insane. I had to look that up. Uh, I, I, I didn't even know I was making these videos for that long until I started doing research for this video. But with 2019 coming to an end, we just wanted to create one really big video with all of the apps discussed this year, which totals 120 Android apps. So sit back, relax, because we're gonna be talking about apps for close to an hour. Let's get started. Memoria Photo Gallery is a personalized photo gallery with a gorgeous layout that features Google's material design aesthetics. What I like about this app is that it's incredibly smooth, it's fluid, and it's organized. You can customize the look of the app by changing the primary and accent colors. The whole app and its vault is encrypted too, so you can rest assured that your photos will be pretty darn secure. If you're tired of your phone's stock gallery app, you might wanna check out Memoria Photo Gallery. Language Navi will help you navigate apps that are in a foreign language. If you have an app that doesn't offer the language that you speak natively, you can use Language Navi to translate the text and display it over the original. It's as simple as that. If you use an app with a foreign language, you should look into this app. Oddmar is a neat adventure game about a Viking who is shunned by his fellow Vikings and must redeem himself of his squandered potential. The game describes itself as an epic Viking story that's animated as a motion comic. I think it looks beautiful. There are 24 levels to play through and they all include physics-based puzzles and platforming challenges. You have weapons and shields. There are a number of friends and foes. What more else could you want? Apex Weather is a detailed weather app from one of the most popular launchers on the App Store called the Apex Launcher. The app, which includes a gorgeous weather widget, provides real-time local temperature and live local weather, hourly forecasts, daily weather events, severe weather alerts, and various other information. There's a million weather apps on the Play Store, but this one has a ton of weather-related information. It looks good, and it has a great widget. There are some ads, but you can pay a one-time fee of about $6 to remove all of them if you'd like. Mint Browser is one of the latest and greatest web browsers to hit the Play Store. It boasts a tiny, lightweight file size to supposedly help speed up web browsing. There's a design that's simple and intuitive. There's voice search and a number of different modes like an incognito and reading mode, as well as mobile data saving options. What I like most about it is the design and just how many of the buttons are located on the bottom of the screen, which is easier to reach with my thumb than if they were located up top. Fun fact, this browser is the main browser designed for Xiaomi devices. So if it looks familiar, that's why. Me Explorer Silver is a file manager with a ton of features that will help you do all sorts of things with the files you have stored on your phone. There's support for unlimited tabbed browsing and a dual panel that's uh, available in landscape mode. There's a drag and drop support, various viewing modes, an HTML viewer, cloud storage that supports some of the most popular providers, and there are different themes to choose from. It does cost about $4, but it could be worth it if you store a lot of files on your phone. Hangline Mountain Climber is a fun game where you have to climb icy mountains by grappling onto rocks. I know. Sounds riveting, right? The goal is to rescue survivors and researchers, all while the mountain is crumbling apart around you. You have to dodge falling boulders, ice, and even molten lava. There are over 90 characters, four endless mountain modes, and over 50 levels. National Geographic released an app, and it's almost as beautiful as the photos it hosts. If you follow the magazine on Instagram or you read the magazine in print, You'll want to download this app as it offers even more earth and science reads that you should absolutely love. The app is free and it gives you a personalized feed of the topics you enjoy the most. You have access to over 3000 captivating videos and even more photos. Red Papers lets you set your phone wallpaper to the hottest and newest picture post from a selected subreddit. It will automatically reset the Reddit wallpaper to the hottest post of the subreddit based on an interval that you set. So some of the most popular subreddits for wallpapers include r slash wallpapers, r slash earth porn, 
r slash space porn and r slash art. If you love high def, beautiful wallpapers and you like switching wallpapers often, this app is for you. Outrush is a classic arcade game with an updated appearance. You control a spaceship of sorts that's trapped in an alternate reality and your goal is to find your way back to the reality you deem acceptable. The game has really simple swipe based controls. The graphics are 3D, they're simple, and they are stimulating. If you like what you see, you should check out this game. Wi-Fi AR Core is more of a fun way to view your Wi-Fi strength than it is a practical way, but it's still a pretty cool app. It uses Google's augmented reality technology to mark the Wi-Fi strength in your home or pretty much wherever you are at. The green icon represents the strongest signal while the yellow and red correspond to weaker levels. It's just a neat app to play around with. I thought it was a lot of fun, even if it's not the best way to determine your Wi-Fi strength. Autodash is a digital well-being and screen time tracker that gives you insight into how much you use your smartphone. The app gets its data directly from Android and it has no impact on your battery life. And since it uses the data from the operating system, you'll see a week's worth of usage history as soon as you download the app. The app will let you know how many times you launch an app daily or hourly, provide you with the number of notifications you receive, and break down how much time you spend looking at your screen based on each application. It's a powerful tool that can really help you visualize how much you spend on your phone to ultimately help you cut back a little bit. Love Polly is a neat new puzzle game where you have to rotate puzzle pieces until they merge into beautiful pieces of artwork. At first, it's pretty easy, but after a while, it starts to get pretty challenging. It'll take some patience and observation. There are no time limits, no restrictions, and tons of different puzzles to play through. It's a lot of fun, and it's just a relaxing game to play. Apps Free will highlight all of the paid applications, all the paid games, wallpaper, and icon packs that are free for a limited time. The app gives you the ability to filter through the apps so you can only look for the free apps and ignore the icon packs or just filter through all the free games and so on. The app has a simple, easy to read layout. As an app junkie, I really love this app. It makes searching for apps so much easier. AutoHash automatically adds hashtags to your photos on Instagram, making the process of posting to Instagram so much easier. The app uses algorithms to automatically find the hashtags by recognizing the objects in your photos. There are even location-based hashtags now that will populate the most relevant hashtags based on your location. All you have to do is just make sure your GPS is on and uh, you're good to go. It doesn't work perfectly, and some of the hashtags can be very simplistic, but usually the rule of thumb is the more hashtags the better, and so this app will certainly help you achieve that. Sausage Flip is a free game where you have to flip, jump, and stick the sausage as best and as far as you can to advance to the next level. It gets trickier and trickier as you proceed. It's a really silly game, but after playing a few episodes, I felt oddly attached to it, and also I felt like I should eat a hot dog. I don't know. I was craving one. Bottom Quick Settings is designed for those of you who find the Quick Settings panel and its notification drawer hard to reach with one hand, since it's at the top of the screen, usually. This app will allow you to drag the Quick Settings and notification panel up from the bottom of the screen and toggle settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, flashlight, and more. And if your phone has gesture navigations, don't worry. You can move around the swipe up bar to still allow for those navigation gestures to work. WX Wallpapers brings fresh new wallpapers to your Android phone on the daily. Every picture in the app is found on a public website or licensed under Creative Commons. There's a bunch of different types of wallpapers to choose from too, such as abstract designs, wallpapers with lots of black colors that look great on AMOLED displays. You got animals, you got anime, and beautiful skies. I know many of you are wallpaper junkies, so if you want a good source for wallpapers, you might want to check out WX Wallpapers. Sound Amplifier by Google is an app designed to enhance audio from your Android device using headphones to provide a more comfortable and natural listening experience. The app is great for those with hearing difficulties, but also for those just hoping to amplify the sound of your Android phone. Sometimes music isn't loud enough or I can't hear certain sounds in a video or a song. Give this app a try if you suffer from any of the problems I mentioned. Parking King is a very nostalgic game for me as it was a flash game I used to play all the time in my internet browser. It was also super challenging for me, but I had lots of fun playing it. 
Now it has made its way to Android in the form of an app, and it's still very fun. Basically, all you have to do is try and fit your car into the spot highlighted, but since it's quite touchy and the controls are very simple, it's actually pretty hard. It's harder than it looks because you can't touch the other cars or the obstacles in your environment. If you like what you see, or maybe you played this game as a kid like I did, you should check out Parking King. App Tiles lets you add up to six shortcuts for apps in your quick settings area on the notification bar. Just pick your apps, drag the tiles to the top of the list, and uh, they're ready to launch, giving you a super convenient place for some of your favorite apps. Maybe you don't want the shortcuts on your home screens for aesthetic reasons. This app will be perfect for you. AMOLED Walls gives you a huge selection of beautiful wallpapers for your AMOLED equipped smartphone. With more and more smartphones utilizing an AMOLED display, which displays brighter colors than LCD panels and doesn't light up any black pixels to improve contrast and save power, this app becomes all the more relevant. As you can see, there's a lot of dark themed wallpapers to help save some battery life. There's even some wallpapers made specifically for the new Galaxy S10, which will help hide that camera cutout in the upper right hand corner. Drive Time is the quote unquote world's first and only app that lets you play trivia while you drive. That's right, this is a game meant to be played while driving. I'm not sure how they're not getting sued for this, but it's certainly a neat concept. Basically, you just imagine put your uh, phone into a holder in your car and then you just press the play button and a trivia game show starts running and the hosts start asking you questions. Every question will be answered via your voice, so you can keep your hands on the wheel. There are seven trivia categories, including music, literature, and TV and film. If you liked that HQ trivia app we reviewed last year, I think you're gonna like Drive Time. Sleep Away is a sleep management application that helps you manage your sleep and listen to white noise. The app calculates your sleep cycles. You can either set your alarm to wake up feeling well rested if you go to sleep now, or set a reminder to go to bed at a calculated time, so you wake up when you need to. There's also an alarm function for quick power naps, and if you want to listen to some white noise to help get to sleep, this app can help you do that too. You have heater, rain, and campfire sounds, which will automatically turn off when the timer runs out. This is a great app to check out if you uh, think your sleep could get better. Mosure is a smart tape measure app that just became free on the Play Store. The app uses your phone's cameras and your phone's sensors to help you measure objects from four inches to 1,000 feet. You've got a bunch of different measuring modes for measuring objects, spaces, and height differences and angles. You could even save the measurements and print or share them via text messages or via email. I highly recommend this tool. Bullet League is an online multiplayer game where you battle against players on a mystical island filled with ancient ruins and wild jungle terrain. Just like other battle royale games, the last one standing wins, and you have to use guns, power-ups, and various strategies to help you achieve that goal. This game is seriously dope, and while it technically hasn't been fully released yet, it runs super well even over mobile LTE. Zero Fasting Tracker helps you maintain intermittent circadian rhythm and custom fasting. The more I talk to people and research healthy living for myself, the more I see about the health benefits of intermittent fasting. More and more doctors are recommending it, so I thought I'd include this app for those of you who might be interested in at least trying it. The app is super well developed and lets you sign in via Facebook or Google. This app has all of the popular fasting types, but lets you create your own custom fast for up to five days, which I, I don't know if I'd recommend, but it is an option if you so desire it. Basically, once you start your fast, the app will start a timer and let you know how much longer you have to go until you can eat food again. You can set reminders, then view your history after you've completed multiple fasts. It integrates with Google Fit, and you can even export your data to a spreadsheet. This has to be one of the best fasting apps on the Play Store. Recent Notification will save all of the notifications that show up in your device's notification panel. Whether you accidentally clear a notification or tap on one accidentally, this app will save the day, letting you view all of the notifications that appeared in the bar in the first place. 
If you're a power user or someone who likes to control as many areas of your Android phone as possible, you will absolutely love this app. Downhill Masters is a bike racing game where you race downhill and perform tricks along the way. The controls are simple. You have left and right controls in the bottom left-hand corner. You can jump and then use those left and right controls to perform tricks. And uh, there's a break for when you're going a little bit too fast. You can pick different racers, each with different skills, and there's a bunch of different courses to choose from. Around Sound is another unreleased app, but it shows so much potential. The app lets you record audio and save it, but it does so in a super easy to use interface and there are some neat, unique features that help it separate it from the millions of other voice recording apps. First of all, you can crop the recordings in the app and share them with your friends or family or whomever you want. The recordings are saved to your device and they can be backed up via Google Cloud. One of my favorite features is the ability to highlight a key moment in the recording to help you quickly jump to that very moment when you're playing back the audio. Since this is an unreleased app, we should see many, many more features added over the days, weeks, and months. If you like what you see, check out Around Sound Audio Recorder. Holy Light is one of two apps exclusive for the Samsung Galaxy S10. What's neat about this particular app is that it'll create a ring of light around the camera cutout when you have a notification, acting as a modern LED notification light that's not found very often on smartphones these days. You can customize the colors for each app you have and fine tune things like the speed, the size, and the position. It'll even work when the screen is off, but uh, if you do decide to use this when the screen is off, it will use up more battery. And uh, it does require the always on display to be turned on. The other S10 app we have is called Energy Ring. While similar to the previous app, instead of displaying a notification alert, it will display a ring that indicates the current battery level of your device. If you have a full charge, the ring will be a 360 degree wrap around the front camera lens. You can configure the size of the ring, you can customize the direction of the ring, and uh, which way it depletes. This is a really neat app that I think every Galaxy S10 owner should have. Grand Mountain is one of the best skiing games on the Play Store, offering beautiful graphics and visuals and just fun, relaxing gameplay. There are five mountains to explore, more than 70 challenges to compete in, and tons of secret places to discover. It's a fun game to just help you relax and unwind at the end of the day and just ski around a map and go wherever you want. You don't have to just follow the path. You can ski wherever. Atmosphere Weather is one of the coolest weather apps I've seen, offering a wealth of information at a glance. There's a big dial with all kinds of information. Inside are the forecast temperatures of your area, while the outside numbers represent the time of the day via a 24-hour clock. Just inside that ring is a panel that shows you if there's overcast or blue skies or something in between. Uh, blue is for blue skies, gray is for overcast. You can swipe vertically to see wind, relative humidity, and weather. And swiping left at the bottom here lets you see the seven day forecast. This app definitely has a bit of a learning curve, but it's really neat and it offers a ton of weather related information uh, for all of you weather junkies. True Bill Budget Planner is a new budget planning application on the Play Store that's designed to save you money. What I like about this app is it's pretty simple. It has a modern layout and there are analytics that use pie charts and graphs, which I really love, to help you see what your spending habits are like. What makes this app particularly unique is its ability to help you negotiate your bills for you. So for example, if you have a really high $200 a month Comcast bill, this app will help you negotiate it down a little bit. Maybe it'll save you 10 to $20 or more every single month. It's pretty great and they say that it, they have a 95% success rate at negotiating your bill. The downside though is that the premium version, it costs $36 or about $5 a month. PGA Tour Golf Shootout is one of the funnest golfing games to hit the Play Store. Um, there's really not a ton I can say about this game, just that the graphics are great and there's a bunch of golf clubs to collect and upgrade and challenges to beat. And you can play against real people from around the world via the versus mode. If you're into golf and you like what you see, check out this app. Laughable is an app I can recommend to anyone looking for new comedy podcasts. This app will help you follow comedians across the podcast universe 
and allow you to subscribe to athletes, actors, musicians, and more. I have found a lot of funny podcasts that I never knew existed thanks to this app. It's pretty great. Now, I'm a man of many talents, but one of the things I lack is the ability to play a musical instrument. Complete Music Reading Trainer is an app that I've been using and plan on using more to learn how to read music. What's neat about this app is it's designed like a video game with a bunch of different lessons to help you learn. There are 270 progressive drills covering all seven clefs, over three levels, and 26 chapters. A clef, that's C-L-E-F, for those not musically inclined, is a musical symbol used to indicate the pitch of written notes. There are a bunch of different sheet music display styles and achievements to unlock. If you've been meaning to read music, now is your chance. Lightbeam is a screen sharing app that you can use with your friends to help you shop or book a hotel. Just the ability to see your friend's screen can come in handy, and this app helps you do just that. After creating an account, all you have to do is add your friends and send a request to share your screen. It's that simple. You'll see what they're seeing and they'll see what you're seeing if you allow them to have that permission. Shine Journey of Light is a visually stunning adventure game where you journey through an atmospheric world of light and shadow. The app is designed to help you relax and unwind after a stressful, stimulating day. There are 40 hand-built levels that take you on a journey through stunning, colorful worlds looking for lost friends. What's also neat is that in addition to the beautiful visuals, the sound is really nice too. It apparently uses 3D technology to create a unique listening experience. Battery Notch is an app made for anyone rocking a phone with a notch. The app tries to put the notch to good use by creating a border around the notch to show you the status of your phone's battery. No matter the notch type, whether it's a teardrop notch like on the OnePlus 7 or 6T, or a hole punch notch like the Galaxy S10, this app should work beautifully. Download Navi is an open source download manager that gives you way more control over your downloads than the stock downloads app found on most Android phones. The app features a beautiful material design layout with menus and categories to help you filter through all your downloads. You can pause and resume downloads as you see fit, and uh, there are tons of various settings like unmetered connections, roaming controls, and more. It's pretty awesome if you download a lot of files. Retro Shooter is everything I could want in a simple arcade mobile game. The game runs extremely smoothly, and there's simple pixelated graphics that remind me of Minecraft. All you really have to do is drag your finger around the screen to move your ship and fire at enemies. There are various power-ups and weapons to deploy, if you've ever played those classic arcade shooters at old pizza shops or nickel arcades, I think you'll love this game. Easy DND or Do Not Disturb aims to simplify the Do Not Disturb mode on your phone. The phone employs a user-friendly and colorful layout to help keep things as simple as possible. You can toggle alarms on and off, customize priority notifications so that you can receive messages and texts from only select people, for example, you can turn media sounds on and off, and so on. There's even a dark mode you can turn on to make things easy on the eyes. Now, chances are your stock DND mode can let you customize all these settings, but this app just makes things a lot more easy to understand. I highly recommend it, even though the app is still in beta. Omnia Music Player is a must-have music player for those of you who listen to a lot of music locally, stored on your device, and not in the cloud. It's ad-free, it uses material design, it supports all, almost all audio formats, including the high-quality FLAC files, it has a high-res output engine to maximize sound quality, and a 10-band equalizer. Additionally, there's gapless playback, support for lyrics, and even Google Voice command support. If you're looking for a new music player app, you should check out Omnia Music Player. Daggerhead is a neat adventure shooter game with over 100 levels and 5 worlds to play through. So here's the synopsis. Every man should have a skill, and for Vincent S. Daggerhood, that skill was thieving. Quick with his hands, there was no loot he couldn't plunder and no treasure chest he couldn't escape with. For Daggerhood, life was good until come that fateful day he was finally caught, and in the name of justice, to pay for his crimes, he was cast into the Forsaken Caverns. 
But this is not the end of Daggerhood's story, for this is just the beginning. Filled with the desire for freedom and a craving for retribution, Daggerhood has set his sights on stealing the king's gold, and armed with a dagger, he can throw and reclaim by teleporting to its current position. Across 100 levels, he's gonna need your help. If you like what you see, you should give Daggerhood a look. Pixtica is a quick and intuitive camera app that offers a bunch of neat features to help capture some cool shots. First of all, you have filters that can be applied before you take the shot so you actually know how things look before you press the shutter button. There are full manual controls to control things like ISO, shutter speed, focus, and white balance. There's a GIF recorder, panorama mode, and a hyperlapse mode. The list of features goes on and on. This app might just replace your stock camera app. Scribble is a photo editing app that should help spice up your Instagram feed. The app lets you scribble on your photos to create neat animations that should help your photos pop. There are different brush sizes and styles to choose from, and the app syncs up with Facebook and Snapchat as well. Best of all, the basic functionality is completely free. Skit is a simple applications manager that'll give you a lot more control over your apps than the stock settings in your phone. The app gives you a ton of details about each app, such as the date of installation and the last update date of your app and the amount of memory it's consuming. You also have the ability to share apps directly from the manager, which I thought was a pretty cool feature. I haven't really seen that before. The premium version also gives you additional themes, multi-user support, and even more stats for your apps. Ailment is a so-called pixel art action game that takes place on a spaceship in a galaxy far, far away. The main character wakes up in a spaceship after being unconscious for three days, and all of his crew became enemies. The last thing he remembers was returning from the other ship where he had a rescue mission, but everyone on that ship was already dead. He has to remember what happened and find out the truth. The game features a bunch of different weapons, Easter eggs, and neat animations and sound effects. If you like what you see, check out Ailment. Appy Weather was originally released on Windows Phone five years ago, believe it or not, but it's made its way to Android, offering a very aesthetically pleasing weather interface. It's simple and it's beautiful. You can view the current weather conditions as well as view what's going to happen later in the day or the next seven days. At the bottom, you have a bunch of different things you can check, like the dew point, the visibility, the pressure, wind and cloud cover, and so on. So not only is this app beautiful, but it's also very functional too. Pocket Mode is a really neat app that locks your phone when you cover the proximity sensor. So why, why would anyone do this? Well, it's designed so that when you put your phone in your pocket, it'll securely lock your phone. It was developed because stock Android lacks this feature. It's really meant for people who have had that unpleasant experience of putting their phone in their pocket or their bag, and then discovering later that it ends up calling people or even texting people for you without you doing anything. This app aims to prevent that. It's not perfect, but it's a pretty great idea that I think should uh, evolve with time. Onslaught Car is a fun, easy to pick up and play game where you control a car that's a goal is to race around a track as fast as possible. All you have to do is control the speed of the car, but uh, that's easier said than done as you'll have to quickly de-accelerate when you go around corners and accelerate on straightaways to beat your opponent and get the best score. What I especially like about this game is the cartoony 3D maps that look really cool. Uh, gameplay is also very smooth and stutter free. Firefox Screenshot Go Beta is a pretty neat unreleased app that is a must have for those of you who take a lot of screenshots. The app will scan your screenshots and look for keywords for you to search through to help keep your screenshots organized. So to give you an example, if you take a screenshot of your Instagram followers, the app will detect the word follow and it will allow you to just go up to the search bar and type follow to pull up that screenshot. The goal is to help you find your screenshots just by searching for them, which uh, isn't something available in most gallery apps. One UI icon pack will make your app icons resemble the icons found on one of Samsung's newer smartphones running One UI. So Samsung recently refreshed their software running on top of Android, bringing a fresh new look that, quite frankly, it looks really good in my opinion. The color palette and the flat style are very modern. I highly recommend this icon pack. 
Magnabox is a challenging puzzle game about a magnet that's also a box. You just gotta swipe your way and move your magnet box around a bunch of obstacles to get to your end goal. It's easier than it looks, but there are 160 levels to play through, and as you progress, it gets more and more difficult as there are over 22 weird and wonderful mechanics to play with. To top it all off, there are some funky tunes and colorful pixel art graphics. Curator is very similar to the Firefox screenshot app, as it too is in beta and it too aims to help you search through your photos. But where it differs is it creates tags for your photos to help you search through them and keep them organized. The app has its own AI that helps scan your photos to find key objects that can help you search and find them. There are private and trash folders, as well as share albums that you can create to share some of your photos with some of your friends or family. Oh, and we also have gestures for performing certain actions. So for example, you can long press an album to rename it, delete it, or add it as a favorite. It's a pretty neat app that has a lot of potential. Mi UI is an interface commonly found on Xiaomi's smartphones. Some people like it, others prefer more of a stock Android appearance. Uh, personally, I like bits and pieces of it, including the notification shade, which this app helps bring to non-Xiaomi phones. The app gives you a stylish quick setting and notification panel at the bottom of your screen, allowing you to toggle settings like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the flashlight, as well as adding shortcuts to apps and websites in the panel too. And what's also cool is the colors are customizable, so you can kind of fine tune this notification drawer and make it look just like how you want it to look. It's a pretty great way to spice up your Android phone. Spotify Stations is a brand new app from the largest music streaming service in the world. What's cool about this app is it lets you create stations for all of the music you love, and it's completely free as it uses ads to support itself. It's a lot like Pandora, but it uses Spotify's brains to curate the stations and fill them with music it thinks you'll like. Now, I was a big fan of Pandora because I liked their algorithms for the longest time before Spotify really got big. Uh, now Spotify, I think, does actually a better job finding music and generating playlists. So you might want to give this app a look if you're into music stations, or maybe if you've been if you, if you're still using Pandora. The Bonfire Forsaken Lands is an unreleased game that's currently in development, but it shows a ton of promise. It's an idle survival simulation game where players build, discover, craft, and survive. Your objective is to build your settlement in a snowy encampment and manage workers and resources to survive monster attacks during the night. Slowly, you will gain access to advanced building and crafting options, discover and trade with new civilizations, and discover the secrets of the ancients. This app will certainly require some time, but I think it's a neat twist to the classic survival adventure games out there. Firefox Preview is an experimental Firefox browser for Android that features new features not available in the main Firefox app. It's built mostly for early adopters and developers, but it's really for anyone who wants to test new features and help improve the browser by reporting bugs and glitches. Some cool features include dark and light themes, ad blocking and tracking protection to help keep your browsing private, it's also reportedly up to twice as fast as other versions of Firefox, which uh, is a reason in and of itself to install this app. Shoelace by Area120 is a new social media app from Google, but it's a little bit different than Google+, Plus, uh, Google's shuttered social media app. Uh, the app is only available in the New York City area, and it's invite-only currently. Uh, but what it does is it aims to help people find things to do with people who share your interests. You can browse hand-picked activities or add your own to a map. As you can see, I haven't tested this app personally, but I wanted to see if this is something you would be interested in. Also, I wanted to get the word out so you can sign up to try and get an invite and test the app out for yourself. Uh, just keep in mind, it's not available in most markets right now. Dr. Mario World is Nintendo's latest mobile game, and it's a lot like Tetris, but with Dr. Mario aesthetics. Your goal is to match capsules with viruses to get them cleared. All you have to do is match three objects of the same color vertically or horizontally to clear them. 
What makes this game difficult is the time aspect, as each puzzling configuration of viruses must be cleared in a certain time frame. I wouldn't say this game is like as fun as Super Mario Run, but it certainly could be if you're into Tetris and similar puzzle games. But best of all though, it's, it's free, unlike Super Mario Run. Nlight Pixel Loop is a photo editing app that helps you create moving photos. All it takes is a few taps to make your photos move and become animated like a GIF. You can replace bland skies with colorful sunsets and animated clouds and control things like animation speed, direction, and style. It will definitely take some fine tuning to get the best results and it will depend on the photos that are being edited, but you can get some really cool results that are worth sharing on these social medias. Fluent Forever is a language learning app similar to Duolingo in that it helps you learn or stay fluent with the language. What's different though is that it doesn't focus on bite-sized lessons. Instead, it immediately gets you correctly pronouncing and hearing the sounds of your target language. Then it efficiently has you learn the most frequently used words and push them into your long-term memory. Finally, it has you naturally build sentences using words you know and practice your speech to fluency. Flashcards and repetition are really big with this app, but I wanted to include it on the list because I think learning a second language is extremely valuable. Sesabit is a neat puzzle game with really unique illustrations that give you clues to help solve your objectives. It's a really calm and relaxing game with nature sounds and beautiful art environments. There's no time limit to complete the levels, so it's a great game just to play if you want to relax. Seri Launcher is a new app that's still in development, but it offers a bunch of features that really may make you switch from your default launcher. Right when you boot up this app, you have the option to show all your apps or just your favorites on your home screen. And then you can select between three or four honeycomb icon rows. I like the three rows because I like the slightly bigger app icons, uh, but that's just me. From there, you can select one of four neat clock widgets that are baked into the launcher and you can choose a background. Uh, what's cool about this launcher is it's really great for OLED displays as it supports a true dark mode and it features a simple black wallpaper to help conserve battery life if you want to go down that route. As for navigation, a, a swipe down will get you to search for apps and content. A long press on an app will reveal additional options. And the Siri launcher icon will open up more settings specific to the Siri app. If you like what you see, I highly recommend checking out Siri Launcher. Doodle Lens is a fun augmented reality drawing app that turns your flat 2D drawings into interactive animated 3D AR characters, scenes, and stories. So basically you just draw something, you copy it with the camera, paste it back to reality and record your video, then you're done and you can share it with whoever you'd like. The results are about as good as your drawings and how long you spend fine tuning your animations in the app. As you can see, I didn't do a very good job. Moobert is a very interesting music streaming application. What's unique about it is that it generates music for you using algorithms to create personalized music that is just for you. You use the interface to tune the music based off a genre or an activity, and then you help guide it by giving it a like or a dislike. Also, you can change the intensity of the music using the slider. The music is endless with no pauses, intros or outros, no ads, so it could be great for a party situation or for studying music. The biggest downside, I think, is the annual subscription cost of 70 bucks, which is very expensive, uh, but there is a seven day free trial to see if you like it. Human Fall Flat is a quirky multiplayer physics puzzle platformer. You play as a wobbly human who keeps dreaming about surreal places filled with puzzles where he's yet to find the exit. Your goal is to explore and try and find the exit. It's that simple. You can walk, jump, grab anything, climb anything, carry anything, and there are 10 open-ended levels full of puzzles to try out. You can customize your character and play with up to four other people. It's a fun and funny game, that's for sure. 
Minimal Launcher is a simple third-party launcher powered by artificial intelligence. Over time, complex algorithms will learn how and when you use your apps to suggest the right apps at the right time. You'll see nine AI suggested apps on your home screen, which uh, again, are fluid and will change over time. But as you can see, it's damn minimal. You have these key apps, you can search for apps by tapping on the search icon, or you can uh, tap on the app grid icon to open up all of your apps. And if you want to make things even more minimal, you can tap outside the box to hide those bottom two functions. I can see some people really liking this launcher and others just really hating it. Gallery Go is a lightweight app for organizing and editing your photos. It's from Google and it uses machine learning to automatically organize your photos and also give you the tools you need to enhance them. And what's neat about it is it all works offline. The app organizes your photos for you depending on who or what is in them. And all the organization actually takes place on your phone and not in the cloud. So you don't have to worry about going over any sort of data limit. The app itself is only 10 megabytes in size, so it's great for those with lower end hardware and or slower internet connections. Top Speed 2 is a fun racing game that's completely free and home to over 70 of the fastest cars in the world. You can customize the heck out of them and race online or via the story and elite modes. The actual racing is in a third person type view where you control the shifting and acceleration. It's a little bit different than a classic first person racing game, but the graphics are good. And uh, I'd say if you're really into customizing your cars and unlocking the extra features, I think this game should really satisfy you. However, if you just care solely about the actual racing and the driving and controls, I think you'll be a little bit disappointed. Glitch Lab is a really neat photo editing app that can add some super cool and unique effects to your photos. There are over a hundred effects covering color, pixel sorting, data corruption, text and gimmicks, and art filters. It's one of those apps that I recommend just installing and messing around with to see what you're able to get out of it. Philo or Philo is an internet TV company that first launched at Harvard University in 2009 and is backed by HBO, Facebook co-founder Andrew McCollum, and Mark Cuban. What it offers you is access to a bunch of TV networks and shows for uh, a one-time flat fee per month. So you get access to like Comedy Central, A&E, Nickelodeon, The Food Network, and more. You can get 58 channels for 20 bucks a month. So it could be a good option for some cable subscribers looking to cut the cord and cut the absurd costs of cable TV. Now we're not getting paid by them by any means. They simply just launched a new Android app that we thought we'd check out. Also, I, I just like the backstory. It kind of reminds me of, of Facebook and how it got started. Post-It, the company behind Post-It Notes, has launched a Post-It note-taking app that should have been launched many years ago, if we're being honest. But for whatever reason, it's just now being launched. Basically, you create Post-It notes in digital form and group them into different boards or categories depending on the notes. You can drag them around and tap to edit the notes. You can also use the share feature to easily share the notes to your favorite sites like Dropbox, Google Drive, and more. If you're a big Post-It notes user, you might want to check out Post-It. Gigantic X is a fast-paced, top-down sci-fi shooter with tons of action-packed gameplay. Earn your spurs as a space-faring mercenary by clearing habitable planets of alien parasites, battling deadly, monstrous creatures, and helping defend the ever-expanding frontier. Zones of constant conflict and action. As you progress through the game, you'll learn attack patterns and how to respond to different scenarios. You can play as three unique characters with different weapons and abilities, and even play a co-op mode with friends in real time. There are in-app ads and optional purchases, but otherwise, it's completely free. Woolpepper is a new wallpaper app that offers some fresh HD wallpapers for your mobile device. The wallpapers are from unsplash.com and are of 4K resolution or higher to help support the pixel-packed mobile displays we have in abundance today. There are more than 200,000 wallpapers to choose from with more added each and every day. And what's cool about this app is that it has some editing features built in so you can edit the images to tune them to your liking. 
Check Entry is a file manager that syncs up to your desktop computer so you can view the status of your downloads from your phone. The file manager allows you to control your files by pausing, resuming, canceling, and more. The app is really handy for those who download a bunch of files on their computer as you'll be able to view the progress from afar. The app works with Windows, iOS, and Android, but a Mac version is coming soon. Puzzle Go is a game with a bunch of different puzzles to play through like Sudoku and Match 3. There's a bunch of different puzzles to play through that will stimulate your mind and challenge you. Now I used to play Sudoku back in the day and I can say it's definitely a mind workout. If you haven't played it before, I highly recommend it. There's also some other fun puzzle games to play with here too. Mario Kart Tour is the hotly anticipated new racing game from Nintendo. You get to play as some of your favorite Nintendo characters like Mario, Donkey Kong, and Bowser, and race around courses inspired by real world cities in addition to classic Mario Kart courses. You get to collect items and you get to use those items to help you slow down your opponent and get the higher score. Uh, there are drivers, carts, and various badges to collect. I think if you're a Nintendo or Mario Kart fan, you should definitely check out this game. LaunchBoard is a modern app drawer. The app lets you place a keyboard widget on your home screen so that when you start typing the name of an app, the app will automatically appear for you to quickly open it and essentially replace your app drawer. So everything you, you need is right here on the screen. You can also mark apps as your favorite and then press on the heart icon in the lower right hand corner to quickly see your favorite apps. It's just a really neat app that's really only possible on Android. I love it. Space Weather Reporter is definitely a niche app, but if you're ever curious about the weather in space, it's a great app to check out. It downloads the space weather data offered by DONKI, the database of notifications, knowledge, and information, and it shows you notifications on your phone or your tablet about those events when the app is not running. So some of the events and data include geomagnetic storms, solar flares and coronal mass ejections. Pretty scary sounding stuff that you might want to know about. ShareIt lets you transfer and share information across devices way faster than Bluetooth. In fact, its highest speed goes up to 20 megabytes per second, which is 200 times faster than Bluetooth. You can transfer all types of files, photos, videos, music, and more across devices. And there's a built-in video and music player to view whatever it is you are sending or receiving. It's just super easy and a great app to have in your app arsenal. Gears Pop is a new strategy real-time multiplayer game from Microsoft. Your goal is to destroy your enemy's outposts and capture rows of cover to expand your deployment zone. Some troops you have use cover to hide and shoot at your enemies, while others just charge straight down the middle to try and storm your enemy's bases. You get to uh, use each one depending on your liking. There's a bunch of troops to use and just help you become victorious. And what I like about it is it's really easy to just pick up and play. There's not a bunch of unnecessary menus or loading screens. Flip DND is a really simple app, but it works great. It lets you flip your phone over to turn on do not disturb mode. It's really that simple. Just flip your phone screen down, wait 10 seconds, and you'll stop getting notifications. And then when you pick it back up, it'll immediately become available again. It's free and it actually doesn't impact battery life too much. Clipboard Manager is a simple and powerful app to manage your clipboard, keep history and get fast access to your notes. All you have to do is just hit copy and whatever you copied will be added to the history section where you can view in the app. Now there's a bunch of other features like the ability to create categories and paste your notes from your keyboard but the basic functionality of just saving your copies is really nice to have in my opinion. Custom Search Bar Widget, or CSBW, is quite self-explanatory. The app gives you a custom search bar widget that you can customize to your liking. So you know that Google search bar that's always available when you first set up a phone for the very first time and you know boot it up? Well, it can be completely customized to your liking all via this app. There's a bunch of themes and colors to choose from. It's a must have app if you use the Google search widget frequently. Wi-Fi Analyzer is an open source app that measures the signal strength of a Wi-Fi network as well as determining how crowded the Wi-Fi network is. It's a great app to have if you're in a public space and you want to connect to the fastest Wi-Fi network available. I think if you're an IT or wireless nerd, 
you will love all of the data that this app provides. Hopball 3D is a super fun, just easy to pick up and play music game where you have to move a ball left and right to land on platforms as you listen to some rock and or EDM music in the background. There's some 3D graphics and the ability to upload your own songs if you're not a big fan of these songs that are pre-installed with this app. If you're into simple music games, you should check out Hopball 3D. Volume Panel Pro is a neat customization app that expands the default volume controls found in Android. When you have this app installed and set up, you'll be able to press on the volume rocker and choose between toggling your alarm volume, your media playback volume, and your ringer volume, all without having to press more buttons and open up more menus. The free version is more basic, but the pro version lets you customize all sorts of things, like you can move the panel to the left or right hand side of the screen if you're left or right handed, you can customize when the panel times out, you can customize the icon and slider colors, and much more. Definitely give this app a look if you want to tweak your phone's volume controls. Time Immersive is a fun augmented reality app from Time Magazine. You can search for various things around the world and experience them in VR or AR. Some of the experiences include the Amazon rainforest and the moon. You basically just plop down the map on your table or your floor and you can hover your phone around certain areas to learn more about them. It does require a device that uses Google's AR core technology, so if you have a compatible device, I recommend you check this app out. It does require a device that uses Google's AR core technology, so if you have a compatible device, I recommend you check this app out. Call of Duty Mobile is a mobile version of the wildly popular Call of Duty console game. You can play a bunch of different game modes, like a 100-player battle royale, a 5v5 team deathmatch, a zombie mode, and even a sniper vs sniper battle. As someone who grew up playing the console games, it's a little more difficult for me to just pick up this game and get used to the mobile controls, but if you're into mobile gaming and FPS games in general, I think you will love this game. Best of all, it's free to play. Music Zen is one of the more relaxing apps on the list. It helps you de-stress with professionally devised exercises, games, and meditations. There's a bunch of really neat, relaxing visuals and sounds that you can play to help calm your nerves. What's neat and unique about this app is its three-pronged approach to helping you find relief. Meditation, relaxation, and gameplay. Vivaldi Browser is one of the newer browsers to hit the Play Store, bringing some neat new features and end-to-end -end encryption for your passwords. Some of my favorite features include the ability to add shortcuts to your favorite websites to the new tab page. So when you open up a new tab, you can quickly just click on a shortcut to go to your favorite website. Also, what's cool is you can take notes directly via the browser, and they'll actually sync between all of your devices. Last but not least, uh, you can switch search engines quickly in the address bar. So you can type D to select DuckDuckGo, or W for Wikipedia, or just G for Google. If you're looking for a new browser, check out Vivaldi. Threads from Instagram is like a condensed version of Instagram that helps you share photos and statuses with your friends more quickly. Basically, you pick your closest friends, which you can see below the camera. Then you can just tap on the friend's profile pic to capture a photo uh, which you can then tap on your friend's icon again to send it to them. There's also some statuses you can choose, like studying or procrastinating or getting coffee, which your friends will be able to see. I could just see this app being really useful for those who use Instagram a lot to talk to their friends. Vectronom is a really visually stunning puzzle game with groovy music. It's a psychedelic world with waves of colors and pulsing geometric shapes that change with the beat. Your goal is to find your path through the changing world, keeping the rhythm with every move you make. Now I'm a sucker for simple puzzle games with geometric shapes and colors, so this game just checks all the right boxes for me. Blob Live Wallpaper is a neat wallpaper app that features calm shapes and colors designed for OLED screens. Now you don't need an OLED display, but I would say it does look better having those deep, crisp blacks. In the paid version, you can deform the 3D shapes, set the colors, and create relaxing patterns. Um, the free version is more basic, you just have this one wallpaper to choose from. But if you like what you see, you should go ahead and give this app a download. GCA Launcher is a lightweight launcher built on material design. 
and it supports icon packs, adaptive icons, app shortcuts, and more. You can customize the app drawer and select a bunch of apps to always be available at the top of your app drawer for easy access. Also, you can change the color and the gradient of the launcher as well as the overall theme. It's not gonna be for everyone, but if you like what you see, uh, check this app out. Walkmaster is a simple arcade game that tests your skill, precision, and timing to help your character become a walking master. You just swipe to control each leg and get your character to walk down the path, which it sounds simple and pretty easy, but as more obstacles become more prevalent, it becomes all the more difficult. There are 26 unique characters to choose from and new levels added regularly, according to the developers. Disney Plus is one of the newest streaming services to hit the masses. It lets you stream everything Disney owns, including Marvel movies and even The Simpsons, since Disney purchased 21st Century Fox earlier this year. The mobile app we have here lets you stream all this content on your mobile device, and it works. So if you like Disney, maybe look into Disney Plus. Stadia is a new cloud-based game streaming service from Google that aims to rival Xbox and PlayStation. It lets you stream games at up to a 4K resolution and 60 frames per second on as little as 10 megabits per second internet speed, and in my testing it works pretty darn well, although I do have very fast 1 gigabit per second internet speed. What's also cool is that you can stream games and use the game controller with your phone or your laptop or your TV. It's all done over the internet using Google's data centers and no expensive hardware box that sits in your living room. The only downside right now, in my opinion, is just the limited selection of games and the expensive $129 price for the controller and Chromecast bundle Founders Edition, and also the $10 per month service cost once your three months of free service expires. Z-Cube is a real-time strategy game inspired by some of the old-school PC real-time strategy games from years past. You get to build bases and defense structures to destroy enemies and capture new areas. Since gameplay is taking place on a cube, this gives you a bunch of different strategies to use to combat your enemy. There are 24 different missions and 25 unique combinations of units. If you're looking for a simple RTS game, check out Z-Cube. Comment In offers a collection of tweaks and tricks to optimize your productivity and improve the Android experience. Some of the available modules include an improved ambient display mode, improved rotation to support rotation at 180 degrees, darker brightness, and the ability to remap a digital assistant button, such as the Bixby button on a Galaxy phone or the assistant button on an LG phone like the LG G8. You might run into some bugs or issues since this app offers such a wide scope of features, but it's certainly worth checking out. Pix Material Icon Pack contains over 900 custom icons that are inspired by the new Android 10 OS, as well as, of course, Google's material design aesthetic. The icons are all very simple and linear with colorful backgrounds. What's neat is the app supports pretty much every popular app on the Play Store, so when you apply the icon pack, it should fit every app you have. Minecraft Earth is an AR version of the classic Minecraft game that lets you create structures and explore new environments in the real world. You perform a lot of the same actions found in the computer game, like you collect resources and go on adventures, but the AR aspect is pretty neat, as you can place your creations in your real physical environment. I think if you're a fan of Pokemon Go or the classic Minecraft game, you will love Minecraft Earth. It's still in beta, keep in mind, and there are going to be some bugs, but overall, it runs pretty well. Paperphone is one of six new digital well-being apps from Google to help you limit your time on your phone. This particular app, it prints out a little paper phone with the most important information you'll need for your day, such as like the weather, maps, contacts, calendar, and different notes. You can select which bits of information you'd like to add to your paper phone, and then you can export it into a PDF or a document that you can print out and fold up and take with you on your on the go. It's not a super practical method for obvious reasons, but it's still a neat option for those who really want to wean themselves off their smartphone. Snake Rivals is a new take on the classic snake arcade game. You eat apples to grow and you use the boosts and various power-ups to go faster and collect more apples. Your goal really is just to not crash into other snakes, walls, and various obstacles, and just try and get the biggest snake you can. One Gallery is a simplistic gallery app that supports hidden and encrypted pictures. If you take some pics and videos that 
you don't want to appear every time you open up the gallery app. You can hide them with a pin, you can hide them with a pattern unlock or a fingerprint. The gallery, it also supports a bunch of different photo and video types like raw formats, SVG, panoramic photos, and more. Also, you can create folders, you can move and copy photos to and from the app, and you can edit videos through one gallery. There's even a dark mode. That's pretty cool, right? Dark Days Zombie Survival is a pretty fun zombie survival game where you have to fight zombies, gather resources, and build shelter to survive. I really like the strategy element where you have to upgrade your weapons and shelter instead of just shooting down hordes of zombies like many other zombie games. It's one of those games where if you like what you see here, I think you should check it out. Battery Guru is an app that offers you tips and various ways to improve battery life and help increase your battery's lifespan since lithium ion batteries will degrade over time. The info section provides battery stats including charge and discharge percentages and estimated times for a full charge or a discharge. The protection lab will let you set reminders for battery temperature and charging limits, two things that do degrade our batteries. Meanwhile, the health tab contains useful tips for saving battery, while the saving tab contains battery saving modes that will deactivate certain things at certain times to save battery life. Overall, if you're planning on keeping your device for a long time, this is a great app to have. Autoresponder for Instagram may be a must have app for those who frequently use Instagram and or have a lot of followers. Basically, the app lets you create automatic responses for messages you receive via Instagram. What's also neat is it doesn't require access to your Instagram account. Instead, it will access your notifications and read your Instagram messages that appear in your notifications. So it's, uh, it's uh, definitely better for privacy. If you manage an Instagram account for a business or you just have a lot of followers asking the same questions over and over again, you should seriously look into this app and help automate your Instagram account. Bad Run is an endless runner where you have to jump over cliffs and dodge obstacles. The app looks and feels a lot like a classic arcade game, and while it's still in early development, it runs pretty well. No pun intended. Actually, there, there is definitely a pun intended. The game features procedurally generated mission levels, so the game world will expand with each level you progress. There is an endless mode and various challenges, and you can even use the coins that you collect to upgrade your character and buy new items. If you like what you see, check out Bad Run. Podcast Addict is one of the best podcast apps on the Play Store. If you're into podcasts, you may have already heard of it. The app constantly receives updates, which is why it made it on the list. Some of the features include support for over 750,000 podcasts, various playback modes, like the ability to play back a podcast at a faster speed. You can increase the volume louder than than most other podcast apps. There's a mode that will let you automatically skip any sort of prolonged silence in a podcast, and you can automatically download or delete podcasts and just much more features. I highly recommend this app. Lock Me Out aims to help curb your smartphone addiction by locking you out of your phone when you would rather be doing something else. After giving the app the appropriate permissions, you'll be able to select which apps to block, which apps to allow, or you can set it so that only your lock screen is allowed to be viewed. You can schedule lockouts and automatically set lockouts based on your device's usage. The app gives you a just a ton of control, and of course, there's temporary emergency access in case you need it, so don't worry about that. Little White Rocket is a beautifully simple game designed to help you relax and calm down. You play as a little white rocket set in a beautiful and mysterious world. The controls are super easy. All you have to do is aim and tap anywhere to fly. With the beautiful visuals and calming music, this game will surely help you relax when you're feeling stressed out. Guitar Tuner Pro is one of the better, newer tuners on the Play Store. With Tuner, you can easily and accurately tune your guitar using only your phone and this app. And, well, of course, the guitar. Also, the app features a bunch of chords, 2,640 of them to be exact. So in addition to tuning your guitar, you can learn many new music notes. Lock X Lockdown Lite lets you lock any app on your phone. All you have to do is set a pin or a password, and then you'll see a big list of apps that you can lock with this app. Then when you just go and try to open that app, you'll have to enter in the pin or the password you made. It'll actually even support fingerprint scanners if your device has one. It's really simple. The app works really well though. 
Transno is one of the coolest, most intuitive note-taking apps I've seen on the Play Store. The app lets you experiment with multiple types of notes, whether it's a simple list, a nested list, or what they're calling a mind map. You get to choose which one feels right for you, which one displays information the most efficiently. The layout feels very modern and fluid. Overall, this is just a wonderful note-taking app. The last app we have for you is a game called Sticklings Deluxe. It's a unique puzzle game where you have to lead a herd of stickmen into their goals by using various abilities, such as blocking, self-destruction, jumping, bomb throwing, rushing, and bridge building. Sticklings are like lemmings, where they walk and they walk and they keep on walking. So what you have to do is correctly assign the correct task to a stickling to lead all the others to the correct path. It's a silly game that's surprisingly a lot of fun. With that last one, those are 120 of our favorite Android apps released during 2019. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy these app videos, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets us know that you wanna see more apps, more app videos in the future in 2020. Also, if you're new to the channel and you, you stuck through, you watched the whole video, it's a long one, uh, you should consider subscribing to PhoneDoc. The link is down below. With that said, I'm Bo HD from PhoneDog.com. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.